Keora. My mountain is Margala. My river is Indus. I am Faisal, and I'm from Islamabad, Pakistan. It's a privilege and honor to be standing here and talking in front of you all today. I, I don't see many Pakistanis around here, so <laughs> I would like to share my background and how I reached this place and what made me work on what I'm working on right now. Uh, growing up in a Pakistani middle-class family, I was really fortunate to have access to computers really early in my life. At that time, games, and computer games to be specific, got me interested into programming and graphic design. Unfortunately, around that time, we didn't have proper guidance or formal education regarding that domain. But lucky for us, we had internet. Not the internet that we see right now, but like this one. I'm sure many of you would have recognized this voice. Like, yeah. So yeah, fortunately for us, we had internet back then. And even though it was really slow, but it felt sufficient. So that led me to a path of self-learning and self-education. And I ended up teaching myself computer programming, game development, game design at a very early age. Here, this is me being a rock star uh, at, at my high, high school, uh, showing my game to a bunch of kids in a festival. So that was uh, really amazing for me because it, it opened a lot of uh, avenues for me. Now I'll fast forward to my undergraduate time and this was my final year project and of course it has to be a game. So I created this game which was a 3D first person game and it was visually appealing and when you have visual stuff it, it's, it can relate to a lot of people and people understand things. So it, it not only got me a gold medal in my university but something really amazing happened that day. Someone from the crowd took the link of this game and sent to a professor in Stanford. And that guy, he was so impressed by this work, being a solo project, that he offered me a fellowship at Stanford and asked me to come over <laughs> and join him, work on other important stuff. And of course I said yes. At Stanford, uh, that was the first time I got this opportunity to work on big impact stuff. So the project that we were working on there was called Measuring and Quantifying the, digi the Digital Divide. In this project, we used two decades old data through network performance tools, and we figured out best ways for developing nations and their governments to improve internet connectivity across remote part of the region so their people can get connected. Now this project was really close to my heart because I knew that internet played a vital role in changing my life and opening up new opportunities for me. I also realized that data insights as a whole can be life-changing in, in an indirect way. So I decided from then on I would leave game development and focus more towards data insights and big data stuff <coughs> so that I could work on bigger problems. Today, we live in a time where we have abundance of data around us, whether it's consumer reviews or the consumer feedback on the internet or satellite data about our Earth around us. Fortunately for us, machine learning and artificial intelligence have gone and get, gotten easier for us to use and to use them to understand this data. So I want to, I want to be the tool for all the problem solvers that we have in the stage um, and use my skills to help them solve the problems that they are already solving at a larger scale using the technologies that I know. So 
yeah, that's that's my story. Uh, I'm Faisal Zahid, and happy to connect with uh, you all on the New Frontiers app. Thank you.